Hey, hello again, everybody. The History Guy here. It's time for Supply Raid. This is a battle I don't get to use any of my own troops, so winning is really the only thing that matters. Casualties are meaningless. Uh, to win, I will get five uh, government points, uh, reputation points, along with 1,500 additional troops and $79,000, which is really kind of the key thing that I want here. Uh, so we're going to be outnumbered almost two to one, so this is going to be tricky because he's definitely going to have better weapons than I do as well. Uh, so he's got almost 12,000 men and 49 guns up against my 6,215 guns. And, of course, there's nothing I can do to change that. There's no, no scaling that happens. Um, I'm stuck with the troops that I have no matter what. So my key thing here is I'm going to try to hug the edge of the map and get myself up to this high ground before I attack. Uh, because going down through here, you're going through the water, and then you're attacking up the hill. So I want to try to avoid that, and hopefully he doesn't have anybody down there. So we'll get into position, wait for more troops to arrive, and then launch my attack. And as my first troops are getting into position now, I get my second division. So we're going to do the same with them. I'm going to bring them down this way. It's going to take a long time, especially with the artillery. Ah, and there's the third division. No, 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 boys. Although, maybe it might be good to have a division over there. Nah, I'm going to keep everybody together as best I can. I think we're safe to go right across because it doesn't appear like anybody's coming down my way. I've got plenty of time. It's only 6 in the morning. The only question is when he gets his reinforcements because he's only at about 7,000 men right now. This is about as even as it's going to be for me. So I get everybody into position and we'll launch this attack. Okay, so we're finally in position to where we can actually see the enemy, see some of his skirmishers up here. Obviously, I'm a little concerned about supplies because we're going to be doing a lot of shooting in this one. But I believe there's probably supply up here I ought to be able to take at some point. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys across the river. Kind of hoping I can draw him out at some point. I'm just not sure how easily I can do that. So we lost 22 men driving him out. He lost 33, so very little on either side there. Maybe I'll swing these guys around. We're going to send some more help around that side. Oh, man. Well, we don't want to take that fortification, obviously. Man.
All right, I guess we'll come in from this side. I don't like having to cross this water up here, and I'm pretty sure this is where he gets his reinforcements when they come. So I just got to be really cautious. This is what I was hoping for earlier, is that he would be a little more aggressive than he's been so far. And these skirmishers are obviously way better at melee combat than I am. Let's see what we can do these guys from the side. I ought to be able to drive him out of there, I would think. There he goes. I don't want to do is take this objective yet because I'm assuming that's when his reinforcements arrive. So I need to try and inflict as many casualties on the first half of his force before that happens. Oh good. I was hoping he would move the skirmishers in this way. I do want to get these supplies though. I'm going to need them. Go up and see if I can get this battery. Here's where I gotta be careful. I don't want to take that objective. Back off a little bit, guys. I know it's not the most exciting battle to watch. I'm just being extra cautious because it's such a small force that I have that if I take some casualties at the wrong time, it could go badly for me very quickly. Nice. No, nope, here they come. Okay. Nothing I could do to avoid that. So let's be cautious here for sure. I'm going to pull back across the water. Hope that he attacks me down through it. I don't know what kind of cavalry it is though. If he's got melee cav, I could be in real trouble. Yeah, that's exactly what he's got. Uh, and Sergeant's right there. This is a problem now. I 
All right, let's pause. Let's get everybody mounted up. Get into the woods. It's the only protection I really have against these guys. This is going to be a real problem with Davis up there. Come on, Doster. Nice. Get away from my artillery. Put some volleys into these guys, come on. Nice. All right, now I just need to go up and take that objective. I don't really care about casualties one way or the other. I just wanna get the objective, but I've gotta do so outnumbered almost two to one. So we're probably going to need to wipe him out as much as I can. Hope that he keeps sending charges into me so we can weaken him, and then I'll just send everybody at the center. Got to stay in the woods whenever possible, though. I've lost 670 men. We've inflicted about 840 casualties. I'm going to wait and see. There's 26 minutes left on the timer, but it's only 8 in the morning, so I'm not real concerned about that. I just hope he keeps making these charges like this. See if we can get him to keep doing that. Eventually he's going to take out that battery, but that's okay. He'll pay a heavy cost to do it. That's it. Keep charging. I'm going to run out of ammo at some point, though, but not really that close right now. Everybody's pretty well armed, except for my artillery. Let's get these guys down there. Okay, the gap's 4,100 right now. No, I'm not going to end the battle yet. Fire. 
And I'll let this go a little bit longer, and then I'm just gonna mount everybody up and send them for the center so I can flip it. And pause for a second. Okay, I'm gonna let this go a little bit longer, and then mount everybody up and go for the center. Okay. Let's get them all mounted. Nice, we just wiped those guys out. Strength in numbers. Everybody fire a volley. And there it is. All right got to do what you got to do you know what I mean <laughs> so I didn't I probably could have played that out for a long time inflicted more casualties on him I'm not entirely sure in the grand scheme of things it makes that big of a difference in his army makeup for me to do that certainly not enough for me to sit and kind of try to play with that forever so that gets me to the Battle of Chancellorsville now there's a lot I got to do to kind of prepare my army. I've got all these 500 man units that I really have no intention of using. Uh, so we're gonna go with small force that is better equipped. And uh, we'll see how the, the scaling works on this one. I'll have to play with that a little bit and see if I can bring his numbers down by bringing mine down. So we'll play with that a little bit and I'll, uh, I'll talk through what I discovered at the beginning of the video for Chancellorsville. Because uh, I'm sure I'm going to discover that there's a magic number where the scaling kind of has the biggest effect. I'm guessing I can probably go up much higher in my current army makeup before he starts scaling up. Uh, at the very least, probably get this up into the 60,000 range. And then we might see that number go up. So once we figure out what that magic number is, I'll know better exactly how I want to build my army. So uh, we'll talk about that when I come back with the next battle, which will be in a couple days. Let me know your thoughts. Um, Use the comment section below. If you haven't already, check out the voting for the uh, the series or war movies that you like the best. Uh, that's currently going on for two of the four brackets. The video with the other, uh, the voting for the other two brackets will be up probably in the next day or two. So check those things out. And sometime next week, I will announce the 16 teams that have moved on to the second round and do another video for another round of voting. Thanks for watching, guys.